All right. So our first task is going to be to discuss some notation that will help us uh, get a little more quantitative about uh, how we discuss how much or little a reaction has proceeded. And the first bit of notation we need is this uh, concept called the extent of reaction, represented by the, the Greek letter xi, spelled xi. Uh, but since that Greek letter is not terribly familiar and it's a little bit difficult to draw and xi is hard to say, often uh, we end up calling that variable scribble or squiggle instead of xi. So the extent of reaction, this variable uh, xi, tells us how many times the reaction has proceeded. For example, if we stick with this reaction of H2 and Br2 forming HBr, if I say the uh, reaction has happened to an extent that 100 molecules of H2 and 100 molecules of Br2 have formed 200 molecules of HBr, then the reaction has happened 100 times and the value of xi would be 100. So C can be measured in uh, a number of times the reaction has proceeded, which is a unitless quantity, or it can be measured in moles if the reaction, for example, has happened one mole of times. If we combine that extent of reaction with the stoichiometry of the reaction, that'll tell us how much of each reactant and product has been uh, consumed or produced. So for example, in our H2 and Br2 reaction, if we started with, let's say, two moles uh, of uh, H2 and three moles of Br2 and no HBr initially and the reaction has proceeded uh, some certain amount, C or squiggle, then uh, the total amount of uh, H2 left after the reaction has proceeded by this amount is two moles minus squiggle for H2, three moles minus that much for Br2, but because of the stoichiometry of the reaction we have a total of two squiggle moles of HBr. So notice here uh, that the stoichiometric coefficients in the reaction, such as the 2 in front of HBr, show up in this, in this total uh, amount of uh, reactants and products. So um, both the stoichiometric coefficient 2 that matches the 2 in the chemical reaction uh, is important, as well as the sign of uh, uh, in front of squiggle. So for reactants, since I'm consuming reactants, I've lost a certain amount of that reactant for products. Since I'm gaining products, the sign in front of this uh, two is a, is a plus sign. So that suggests that uh, the stoichiometric coefficients, the twos and the neg negative ones in front of squiggle, will be a little easier to uh, make sense of if we rewrite the reaction not with reactants on the left and products on the right as we're used to, but if I treat the reaction like an algebra equation instead of a chemical equation and I move the reactants over to the right hand side, then we get this uh, reaction, this representation of the reaction down at the bottom here, where I say zero is equal to negative H2 minus Br2 plus 2HBr. That looks like an algebra equation, not a chemistry equation, but what that means is when I lose a mole of H2 and I lose a mole of Br2, I gain two moles of HBr. So it's really saying the same thing as the initial reaction. The advantage now is that the coefficients in front of each of these species, the negative one in front of the H2 and the Br2, tells me that those are reactants and that matches the sign of the uh, extent of reaction in this expression for the total amount of each reactant or product. Likewise, the plus sign in front of HBr tells me it's a product and it matches the sign in front of the extent of reaction and the stoichiometric coefficient matches as well. So what that suggests is that I can write down any general reaction, not just this H2 and Br2 reaction, I can write any reaction as the sum of some stoichiometric coefficients multiplied by the species. So uh, for example in H2Br2, negative 1 is the stoichiometric coefficient for H2, negative 1 is the stoichiometric coefficient for Br2, and plus 2 is the stoichiometric coefficient for HBr. And then the species are these quantities H2 and Br2 and HBr. So if I just write the sums of coefficients times species, those things sum to zero. That also suggests that we can write a general expression for how much of any species we have. Just like uh, for the H2Br2 reaction, we had the initial amount plus or minus some multiple of the stoichiometric, I'm sorry, the extent of reaction. Same thing is generally going to be true. However much we initially have, and I not, the initial amount of some species, changes by stoichiometric coefficient, which could be positive or which could be negative. 
multiplied by the extent of reaction. So if I know how much the reaction has proceeded, I can predict how much of each species there is. And then it will be useful for us to talk about the differential change, it's a very small amount of change in the amount of each species as I change the extent of reaction by a small amount. And then again, that proportionality constant just by taking the differential of this equation here, differential of C is dc, and the small change in the amount of any species is that stoichiometric coefficient multiplied by d squiggle. Uh, and again, remember that stoichiometric coefficient could be positive or negative. So this is basically just introduced a number of variables, mainly the extent of reaction and this new uh, way of writing uh, a chemical reaction as an algebraic equation um, that sets, up, uh, sets us up to be able to use the tools of PCHEM to be able to study chemical equilibrium.